Today what we're going over is what capacitor size is needed when the ratings are completely wore off. Because it's not on the wiring diagram, it's not on the rating plate, and it's not in the installation manual, so how do you figure it out? A dual run capacitor is needed in order to create an artificial phase of electricity in order for the outdoor fan motor to turn on and run as well as the outdoor compressor to turn on and run. Next, I want to talk about the size of the capacitors, and I'm not talking about the physical size, I'm talking about the ratings. So this one right here on a dual run capacitor is going to have two UF ratings. And UF means the same thing as microfarads MFD. So you got 35, that will be the higher of the two measurements, and that's for the compressor. 7.5, that's for the fan motor. And then you have a voltage rating, it's either going to be 440 or 370. Well, the nice thing about this is if you don't know the rating, you can just replace it with a 440 volt because that will make sure that the insulation value on the inside of the capacitor is high enough. It's very important to make sure that you don't install a capacitor that's the wrong size. So if we needed a 45 UF and we installed a 60 or a 55 instead, what's going to happen is we're going to burn out the start winding in the compressor. Same thing for the fan motor, which is the smaller of the two ratings. So if we put a 7.5 in instead of a 5, we're going to burn that out. It's no good. We've got to make sure it's exactly what's needed for the fan motor and for the compressor. I'm going to go over two scenarios, and one is when you have a functioning system and an intact capacitor. The second scenario is when we have a failed capacitor and the ratings are worn off. I'm going to go ahead first and take my ratings on this still intact capacitor. To measure the MFD readings with our multimeter, we first need to disconnect our wires and discharge with a 20,000 ohm resistor between the common and herm and common and fan. Now I have this capacitor right next to it so you can see the commons here on the one with four tabs. The herm is the three tabs and the fan is the two tabs. So you got the same layout here and so we're measuring on our four tab which is our common and our herm and we're measuring 35 UF. So we know that that's our, our reading that we need, 35. And now let's, let's measure for our fan. And for our fan, we measure 4.4, so we're going to need a 5 UF capacitor. So it's a 35 plus 5, and we're going to use a 440 volt capacitor. For a fan motor for an outdoor unit, it's usually 5 UF or 7.5 UF or maybe 10 UF. And the ratings for the compressor may range anywhere from, say, 20 to up to even 80. And they usually go in just 5 MFD increments. So this one happens to be 35, this one's 45. So that's how we know that we need a 35 plus 5 UF capacitor. Now we're looking down at the outdoor unit and we're looking at the outdoor fan motor rating. And so if you're not comfortable with just the readings on the capacitor, you can know exactly what's needed right on the rating plate, which gets me to our scenario two. When the capacitor is failed and the ratings are completely worn off, you can look at the rating plate of the outdoor fan motor and as well, we're going to look at the rating plate of the outdoor compressor. Next step is zooming into the rating plate with a phone. And a lot of times there's not a ready access door on the side of the unit. In this case, you can see right below run, it says 45 and under cap, it says 370. So that's saying it's a 45 UF and 370 volt capacitor. This is a different compressor and you see the MFD needed is 70 and the voltage reading needs to be 370 or higher for this compressor. If the compressor rating plate doesn't have a capacitor size needed, then you're going to have to look up the model or the part number of that compressor online. Next, you go to an online search engine and you type in the compressor's model number and the word capacitor, or you can type in the manufacturer's name and the model number and the word capacitor. And then you can find possibly some installation instructions such as these ones right here for this Bristol compressor. Inside these instructions, we see our model number right here and that this compressor takes a 45 MFD capacitor at 370 volts. Then you'll know the UF rating that you need for the compressor as well as for the fan motor and you can just install a 440 volt capacitor just to stay safe. So regardless of whether that compressor is calling for a 370 or a 440, you'll be good. So make sure you check out some of the resources we have over at our website, over at acservicetech.com. We've got thermostat wiring, we've got quizzes, we've got articles, we've got a podcast, and we also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning paperback. We've got our workbook, quick reference cards, PowerPoints for teachers, and we also have some physical uh, products available over on Amazon as well. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.